This is the park in the morning, Citadel Park in Ghent, Belgium. Ghent, Belgium. Don't want to tell me that's too hard of a G. That's uh, one region, I should do a softer G. Ghent, Belgium. Ghent, Belgium. Ah, practice, practice. It's a beautiful, beautiful park. Although there's been some difficulties here. Parks. Through the ages, always see difficulties, don't they? And people come and people go. That's what we leave behind. There we go. Moga. Walk into the ICC. There's a short walk, it's starting to rain. Alas, we'll get there. Okay, I'm going to turn it off for now. It's an interesting display in the Citadel. It looks like a cemetery, but actually it is an art presentation. I saw it when I was here in 2012 of all these different museums around the country, around, well, more around the world, because right there... One that really stands out for me is MoMA. That's that's my home, MoMA. Uh, I believe it's uh, Massachusetts, which is crazy making. Uh, I saw some others I'm not really quite familiar and can't say I'm quite up on my my museum piece. But each of these these little tombs tombs here are maybe depicting the the end of art or something. I'm not sure. So, oh, that that looks like the crown of some country. Beautiful. And now, if we lift up, you can see where I just walked to. That's the same arches. Here we go. Beautiful. It's my umbrella on the ground. It's raining now. Let's head off to the icy. Okay, I just had to stop and show you this beautiful tree. Look at the size of that trunk. I have no idea what it is, but it's it's huge. Oh, just give you a little dimension piece here. Put my bag down. Uh, there we go. Eighth European Congress, and then we're gonna go up. We're gonna climb that tree like Jack and the Beanstalk. beautiful. And yet the leaves are still green. Mm. All right. We're going to head off to the ICC. It's right down that path. Follow the umbrella. This is kind of interesting. That's a dog pound right there. And you hear dogs barking. It's a little difficult. Right in the middle of this beautiful park is a dog pound. Maybe it gives more visibility to the dogs. I don't know. Another unbelievable looking tree. We come here, and that's the ICC, the Congress Center. It's a huge complex. When I was here in 2012, it was kind of in disrepair, not really being used from what I could see, or maybe it was just closed up for the season. So it's great to see it being used again. So we're going to walk right in in a moment. Okay, this is the front outside looking from the ICC. Across there is a, uni a university, I'm not sure what, but there's a planetarium, a botanical garden that's beautiful, some museums, just amazing area down here. And then here we are at the, uh, the Congress. If you can see that, let's go in, see if we're welcome. Ah, look, like magic. Kind of a 
very quiet hall place that you like to walk along with good clicks to your feet. So today is Friday and we have at 11 o'clock we have right here oh there you are there's our Greg Gregory Smith okay we're gonna head back this way follow the crowd I'm gonna give you a little bit of a a view up here. I'm gonna go to. I'm already late, of course. There's a keynote speaker going on, but let's head up anyways. Here we go. So it's the second day of the full conference or congress. As we come upon, you're going to see the reception center where you get to register. And then over here, we have all the posters. And posters are just papers where people put up all the different information of their different studies. you got to love those little stands that, of course, on top of it, will end while I go into the Congress. All these cookies. Nico. But now shows beyond reasonable doubt that there is indeed in part a biological basis to crime and violence. In terms of the structure to this talk, um, what I will do is begin by talking about some of those early roots, some early health influences that predispose an individual to later antisocial and violent behaviour. Secondly, I'll try and identify and pinpoint some brain mechanisms which are particularly associated with antisocial, psychopathic and violent behaviour. And lastly, I'll try and turn to some of the important issues that I think this growing body of evidence and data is raising and some pivotal questions that as a society we need to address, including implications for the criminal justice system. The talk will be very quite general, very much an overview. It's not so much a, a specialist talk, so I apologize for that. Uh, let me start by talking about some of the early risk factors for later violent behavior. Um, Going back to history, Cesare Lombroso, some of you will be familiar with the father of criminology, the Italian doctor working in 1870s in northern Italy, examining, trying to identify the biological roots of crime by looking at atavistic stigmata that he found in prisoners. 